we're back. Pro Donny, your Brazy wins. Hour three. It's gonna be a good time. Um. So. So the, so the breakfast finishes. Um, and yeah. what do y'all do? Uh, I'm assuming Podino has some sort of plan to go kill someone. I mean... <laughs> or Josh. Um, Can I set this the ship on fire? Or Cadme I mean, yeah. Can kill someone? Okay, or John Tess. Not, not, no, not that he would try to kill someone. Like, just if, if someone has something they want to do. No, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some information gathering first. Okay. You muted, Josh. Ah, uh, darn it. Um, not honestly sure how Jantos would respond to the fact that his cooking is really bad. <laughs> I mean, I guess he already knew that. Um, we just hoping it would be different this time, I think. Like every time. Yeah, especially because, I mean, last night you could just say, oh, well, that was a fluke, you know. Mm -hmm. But now he's starting now to realize, it's... oh, this might be a regular thing. <laughs> Be bad, but, but hey, third time's a charm. So if you can get it right on the third time, maybe there's uh -huh. some hope for you after all. So perhaps then he's gonna start planning ahead and preparing ahead. Absolutely. For the next meal. Absolutely. Do I get? Would I get some kind of bonus for doing preparation? Yet? Yeah. Um. I mean, it's assumed you're doing that anyway. Um. But you could make. Let's see here. I mean, this is the thing, like, you could, you, you fork in fire building and knives automatically and just assume that you're doing those things. Um, and the cooking, like, you can't make a length test for cooking to cook. Mm -hmm. um, I'm what trying I to might want to do. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a, a concrete way to, like, get that advantage dice there besides just narratively because it's always assumed that you're preparing but if you want to do something mm -hmm. more than that you know just the normal pre preparation which probably should be mm -hmm. dice behind it but yeah finding maybe talking to sailors to find out what they enjoy eating okay definitely I'm just talking to people around the ship okay uh, um, what do you have skill wise it's a persuasion but I don't know that that's especially helpful here. Um, it would be more like an observation, maybe. Yeah, I think it might. He's he's gonna go ask people like what their favorite foods are, like what they like, when mm -hmm. how people prepare things, like just so we can get like some concrete, you know, information to make the meals better. Um, I'm mm -hmm. going to do the same thing. I'm going to figure out who everybody hates. Oh, okay. Um, let's see here. Some So like an info... Just, just overall, just like relationships. Not mm -hmm. not anything specific. Just just literally everybody who... Everybody feels about everybody. Anything I can think of. That's a lot. Hey, how do you yep. feel about everybody else on the <laughs> ship? Yep. Um, well, no, not, no, no. What I meant is, is I'm going to figure out as much as I possibly can about people's relationships. That's an n squared algorithm. <laughs> Say that again. Nothing. <laughs> he, he's right, though. What do you say? It's an n squared algorithm. If O to the n, O n squared, as far as. You have to ask everybody about everybody else, therefore. 
nothing. Yeah, Computer it's lost time. on all of us. <laughs> <laughs> not all of us. Or not not I you. I, I know you mean. I meant Connor and I. Um, it's 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 lost on the normal people. That's yeah, what trying to exactly. Say. Um, no, just the people who aren't you guys. Intelligent. <laughs> um, yeah, well, intelligent in the same way. Yeah. Um, well. It's not at all about the intelligence modifier. It has everything to do with whether or not you've studied big O notation. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, about the yeah. So I mean, I think we could we could do this we could do this different ways. Um, there are different skills you could roll for this. I think John Toast, yours would be persuasion. I think that's probably the best analog we could find here, um, because again, like there's not necessarily a specific skill that would be the skill to accomplish that task. There are several ways you could go about it. Sure, um, sure. And so persuasion would be the most likely thing for you to do that would help because you're trained in it. Um, for is there, yeah. is there like an info gathering thing? Like Not a, like gather information. Um, the closest yeah. thing that I could find was be interrogation. Um, oh yeah, that really well, exactly. I mean, it could be, but again, like I, yeah, I'm fine with you can make the argument exactly. But... I'm fine with John Tos doing what he's good at to get that information, which is persuasion. And by good at, I mean trained in. This doesn't mean he's, he has all that many dice in it, but um, yeah, but better than untrained. Mm -hmm. Is there like a conversational skill type thing? Um, there's several like conversational skill? skills, like and that's really storytelling or something. Well, storytelling isn't exactly. Not uh, a skill I that guess, I have. Yeah, I, I know. There, there's this weird <laughs> thing here where it's not like any skill quite fits um, yeah, what yeah. we're trying to do. But I think the best analog for Josh at this moment is, or for uh, Jontos at this moment, is persuasion. So um, I think it would just be an ob one persuasion test. So. Okay. Good thing. All right. Persuasion. And can I fork in CYs? Sure. Yes. Yeah. I think that's really the only one that's effective here. Base odd, you said was two. Yeah. Uh, one. One. Right. Oh. Looked at it and it looked right, but then I wanted to make sure. Hey. Awesome. All right. Uh, yeah, you get that information. Um. The sailors seem very eager to give you this information. <laughs> um, yeah, don't don't burn it next time. <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, you do get into yes, yeah, so you have an advantage dice on this on this cooking the next cooking test that you'll make. Um, right. So, Podina, you said you wanted to do some information gathering here. Yes. How do you want to go about doing that? Um, being inconspicuous and letting people say things ah. um, around me that okay. they norm wouldn't normally say. Yeah, so so go ahead and do make, do, make an inconspicuous test, um, and then that's going to be a linked test for your observation test that will give I you... I don't know what that means. I'm, you just roll the test, and then that will decide if you succeed... On my observation? Well, well, if you you're, you'll get an advantage dice to ob your observation test if you get this right. Um, otherwise you'll have to observe from a greater distance and that will be a bit more difficult. So this is a matter of like getting into situations where you can just do something not noticed and then people will talk without realizing you're there. Luckily you're very good at being inconspicuous. So, okay. Yeah. So go ahead and roll inconspicuous. And I think the ob's going to be probably, uh, two, two yep. dragon bloods on the ship. Yeah, again, but, like, he's he's established himself as a very, like, innocent, kind of, like, maybe, like, he's probably, like, an heir of, hey, he's just a dumb savage, like, you know, this isn't gonna matter, yeah. kind of a thing. Um, be very subservient, very out of the way, like, not, you know. Um, so, yeah, so go ahead and make an advantage. Uh, you, you can take a modifier dice for your observation. Um, unfortunately, observation is not a skill you have trained. Um, oh, oh, that's what that is. Okay, I was creating an advantage. Yep. I did not know that. That's not great. It's your, your, you have an advantage dice now um, on your observation here. So it's on your being learned, so go ahead and click that, and you can add one modifier to it. 
Okay. Um, and I think the ob here. So what, what is your intent with this role? What are you trying to find out? I mean, just as much information as I can about people's relationships on this ship. Right. Okay. Um, make it a graduated test then. Just roll with one ob and I'll just tell you how much you learn based on how many successes you get. With one modifier? Correct. Spending a fate point to roll that six. Okay. Oh, wow. Nice. Um, yeah, I mean, right. you don't find out a whole lot. Um, you find out that um, there's this one sailor that no one really recognizes and no one remembers them being hired. Um, and he's just really obnoxious and nobody really likes him. Um, well, Is this Adam? not necessarily that people don't like him, but he's just very out of place and everybody can notices, notices it. Um, yeah, it, it's Adam's character. Um, and, and yeah, I ask you... somebody if it's me. You guys aren't talking about me. No, I, I won't. That just meant, no, that'd be dumb. I mean, that would completely, ladies, that would completely destroy my inconspicuous. Exactly. Role, yeah. yeah. Um, and then you also hear, you know, little, uh, rumors along those same veins of like, yeah, and I, I, I thought I heard it, it, like he had a very full purse. I mean, I don't know why he carries that around, but it's a purse. Everyone what has a purse. Everyone has a purse, Connor. A purse. A coin purse. Coin purses are purse. like this big. Purse. Um. Other than that, around all of his cash. And, and they, they, yeah, they weren't, they weren't, in, they, weren't in, they weren't implying that he was doing it all the time. They just heard him carrying it at some point, and like there were rumors flying around of like, oh, and he jingled a lot, like. Okay. Ooh. He could have left that with me. <laughs> Again, like Adam and I established his character as being very not inconspicuous, and so I'm playing that up with all this stuff. Okay. He's a he's a he's a very naive nobleman who who doesn't understand. Um, he knows enough about a ship to pretend to be a sailor, but not enough to convince people that he actually is one. <laughs> Do I get anything else? Um, yeah, you also get um, you get several people talking about how they want to sleep with Avion's wife. Um, talking about what? You, you you have several uh, sailors talking about how they want to sleep with Avion's wife. I actually think that's not it's not sailors. I think it's um, some of the mercenaries are talking I, about that. You cut out there. You so, cut out there. Some okay. of the mercenaries are talking about how they want to sleep with Avion's wife. Okay. Um. I think you get maybe just a little bit of like resentment towards just the, the tiniest bit resentment towards jontos of like oh man i really hope that cook knows what he's doing kind of a thing um and then you Why? get because of the the bad meal he made oh the other from day. Pe oh yeah this is just oh, random snippets of conversation me. no random... i thought you're talking about how i have resentment now no 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 towards no, no, no. Jontos. no. <laughs> did i hear him saying that no no okay this yeah. is the little mm -hmm. snippets of conversation you're picking up um and yeah. then you also get uh, a little bit of like I also hope I n hope that uh, Cadmail knows what he's doing. Like he didn't seem very confident the other night. Uh, did you see how he drunk him, basically drunk himself to death? <laughs> um, but there's not. And I think in my head, I think in my head. I hope I know what I'm doing. Hmm. <laughs> um. Yeah. I don't think you really get a whole lot of like enemies or anything like that. Like people, they're a lot That's of these. Boring. A lot of these people don't know each other. Um, and they're they're getting to know each other. Like this is the crew that you know Trevor put together. Um, the captain um, is a very reserved man. He doesn't really talk a whole lot. He just does his job, tells people what to do. Um, you know, tells all the sailors what they're supposed to be doing, and then you know, is you know, with a spyglass doing doing captain stuff, looking around, just <laughs> just captain just being. Does he have a really long spyglass? <laughs> yeah. Um, just doing general captain thingies. Um, and then... Uh, OGX Sparrow. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, these people haven't, they haven't been to sea long enough. <laughs> they haven't started hating each other yet. Okay. So, uh, so nobody has any other distaste for anybody except for the PCs? Like, is that what I'm hearing right now? Uh, yes, because this is a very focused game, and those are outside of the scope of, of this adventure. It's like, maybe you hear a couple other minor things, but they're very minor. Like, hey, this guy took my an extra roll. You know, like, okay. random crap like that that doesn't matter. Wish I could take an extra roll on this conspicuous test. Or this observation test, I mean. <clears throat> okay, well... Is that it? <clears throat> Is there anybody on this ship nobody talks about? Uh, the princess? <laughs> well, <laughs> come on. Um, no, not really. Do you know everybody on the ship? How would you know if there's someone yeah, that nobody I, talked about? I mean, again, you don't know that, so, like, yeah. you don't notice any glaring people that are being that that are obvious that should be talked about that aren't being talked about there's none of those kinds of situations it's just you know because again like those are the main things that have happened so far is the meals and the speeches so um yeah okay. so that's basically all you get uh cadmail what are you up to Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Interesting. I probably want to meet with uh, Jared's character about the princess and stuff at some point, but I don't know if you want to do that when he's back. Yeah, that probably makes more sense to do that. And so we yeah. can just, we can just kind of say that your character's still considering whether to tell anyone. Um, yeah. So where did you hide the princess? I don't know. That's what I was going to discuss with you as yeah. far as well, how the ship is laid out. And... Be up to you. Um... What are you thinking? So do we only have one ship, or do we have multiple? I think you just have one. Okay. It's a nice, sleek ship. Uh, it's fast and big enough to, to be loaded with, with uh, you know, a sizable amount of cargo, if not a whole, whole bunch, but enough to get the smuggler's stuff. Um... um... Is Trevor making a delivery? Uh, basically, the the whole the plan is to there's there's a abandoned smugglers cove um, that he learned he recently learned about that has a bunch of goods still there that they had to like they had to abandon and so you're gonna go pick it up for free and then not have to worry about tariffs um, you know import or export tariffs and then go sell it to Lucher sell it to Saron and get a lot of money because not not only are you letting smugglers do the smuggling for you and not doing the smuggling yourself and getting arrested for it um you don't have to pay you don't have to pay for the goods at the you know when you buy them they're just there you just pick them up so. okay sure mm -hmm. yeah as far as were we gonna have like a briefing thing as far as i thought we'd have done that or that would have been what no because last night was just partying yeah like celebrating the launch mm -hmm. yeah okay. <clears throat> Actually, know. today's when things get serious and you start getting out of business and stuff don't don't make me say that song in my head let's, let's get down no, 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 no. <laughs> don't, don't get us flag <laughs> Um, 
I don't know. Where would would there be like a supply place she could stay in, or uh, yeah, possibly at least for that night. Mm-hmm. There's probably like me like a supply closet of some sort, like a, a small like pantry or something that you could like keep her in um, and like lock that you know no one would else that have the key in but you and you just make sure that's the case. I mean, that's what I should be doing. I'm trying to find out where the princess. Well, I don't need to find out where the princess is. I just need to burn the whole ship. So how does Connor know that she's here? Like intrigue. Intrigue, yeah, a bunch of intrigue stuff yeah. that we, we're not going to get into um, until it becomes relevant. Um, it's just, you know, the assassins, the, you know, we know okay. that the prince, again, because this is the thing, Adam's character knows more about this than any of because, you do. Yeah, I mean, wasn't yeah. it a last minute, like, Adam needed exactly. to get her out, so it she was. got her out, so how did Connor know, how would they have had any information on that? Like, um, well, because that's the thing, like, they were trying to kill her in the town for a long time, and she had, they had kept managing, like, not being able to. Um, and so I, I imagine it Podino. Also, as far as like Connor being able to get on the ship and have a place, a paid place there, especially since I, like I, I did, I did the hiring for all. This, right, and, so, and just like, the thing, like that would be one of the things. I, I think, don't... I think actually, what happened is um, P uh, Podino got into you know Avion's good graces and and it was hired by Avion probably like a few weeks ago to be able to get at the princess because he's in the noble court intrigue situation. And so he made, he did that specifically to be able to be in the noble court and not be like suspicious and then be able to find the princess and kill her. But now the princess is here and it's just a stroke of luck that Avion happened to be going on the same ship. And the assassin's guild is like, Oh yeah, definitely. You are the assassin who like, they probably had multiple assassins trying to kill the princess, but it's like, all right, Podino, this is your your job. You're you're gonna go on the ship with Avion, and you're gonna kill the princess. Um, and then they but probably how do they know... again like someone Since it just happened the day before. There's no mm -hmm, way. Mm -hmm. There's no way that they could have been like. And, and again, that seems very. It's... No oh yeah, absolutely. I I know. I totally no, no, no. understand no. how unlikely that is. Um, but they found out somehow. Um, and I think I have an idea of what that is, but I don't think any of the rest of you have an idea of what that is. It's, you know, not even Adam. Um, um, and we'll, we'll kind of figure it out as we as we go here. We'll, we'll, we'll I'll start revealing it. Um, I think it, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a a bit of a stroke of luck and um, planning. So even if they did figure it out, how would they have been able to communicate it to Connor? Um, I think, again, like, I don't think it's the day of, I think, like, it was maybe, like, a day or two ago they mentioned this to you, and my, I don't think it was in, in the middle of the night. Well, I guess it would kind of have to be, wouldn't it, because of the, the situation that you're in. Um, again, like, I, I know that there's a way to finagle all this stuff, but again, like, this is not necess the time to figure out the logistics of it. I know it happened somehow. But we'll, we'll kind of figure it out as we go. Sitting down and having a lengthy discussion about the, the, pro the probability of how this might have happened or the way it's going to happen isn't interesting. Let's just keep the story rolling and figure it out as we go. Well, I mean, it's still important as far as, like, figuring out what Connor knows and how much he knows. And... Right, okay. Because wouldn't and... part of it have been to figure out, like, even if the princess was on the ship in the first place? That's why. Yes. Okay. So, so legitimately, I'm cool with that. Wait, what? I'm cool with that. What do you mean? That they suspect that she's on here, but I don't know for sure. Okay. But I just want to kill everybody on this thing Fair anyway. Enough. Let's just. But do I need that. to know whether or not she was on here before I kill her. Sure. Everybody. Let's do that. So, so someone saw them running down to the docks, and so they have like there's rumors or something like they have an mm -hmm. idea that maybe she went on this ship. Um, maybe we just say that, okay, so Pudino was hired, you know, by Avion to be his, you know, bodyguard a couple weeks ago, and he was planning on going in, on this voyage with Avion anyway, and he wasn't yeah. supposed to, like, just kill anyone. Like, the Assassin's Guild wasn't, they hadn't given him a mission or anything like that. But now they're like, hey, the princess might be on your ship. Figure out if she is and kill her if she's on there. So. Uh, yeah, so we can we can figure that out. I forgot the specifics of it. Um, 
soon as Trevor. Hi, Courtney. Connor says hi. She says hi as well. Yay. Um, okay. um, yeah, so, so what are you up to then? Oh, I forgot about that. Sorry. Um, I, I don't know, I guess. Um, would you have gone to go check on the princess? Would. Maybe, yeah. Let's see. Maybe the, uh. So I probably put her in a room with supplies that I knew wouldn't have been used yet. Sure, yep. But as we go on along on the voyage, they're going to be used, so she has to be moved. Yeah, definitely. Somewhere else. That makes sense. Eventually. So we got to find a more permanent place for her to stay. Um. <clears throat> and really, that's probably going to have to involve someone else. So someone else is going to have to know about the princess so that they can help, you know, that situation. Because if it's just you, you know. Yeah. And I'm thinking it might be possible to bring the cook into this. Yeah. And have him, yeah, maybe have him the, hide the her in the pantry or someone or something. The pantry uh, would be a good place. <clears throat> that would work. John Hooks wouldn't really particularly care. I mean... Opportunity to hide a beautiful woman in his pantry. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Get in my pants. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, so Cad Bale, do you go down and like check on the princess? I don't then? know what to say. <laughs> uh, to like to go to move her kind of a thing, or do you want to talk to John Toast beforehand? Like, what? How do you want to? How to do this? Well, yeah. I guess I'd probably talk with Jontos first. Okay. Maybe not bring up the princess yet, but just uh, <laughs> gauge his trustworthiness. You sure. Know, like, uh, maybe chat about the uh, dinner and meal plan and breakfast. Okay. Because honestly, I don't, I don't think Cadmail would have thought that the, uh, the food was too bad. <laughs> Sure. Pay attention, man. <laughs> All right, so so Cadmail walks into the to the kitchen, whereas Jontos is hard at work. A after like he has a list of all the suggestions made by the people, and he's um, though I don't know he ha knows how to read, so he probably just actually has it all in his in his memory. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that might have be a, the instigating thing too. To, if you wanted to uh, ask me about my food preferences, that's an option, <laughs> right? Okay. It would at least open the conversation when you enter the room. If you've got... mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's say so. Cadmel walks in to like talk to Jontos, and then, yeah, Jontos, you're like, oh, hey, I forgot to ask him about his. Evening to you, Cadmel. Hello, Jontos. How's it going? Well, I don't really know. Got myself along here. I got myself in my head a long list of many ideas for food, but I don't know what to make of it ha offhand. So many options. What are your favorite foods? Well, I'm not too picky myself. Um, uh, let's see. What would it be? Honestly, anything besides a uh, hard tack would... Uh, Get me out of bed. Cadmail, not hard tack. <laughs> I'll make note of that. <laughs> Although, to be honest, further down the line, there's not going to be much avoid in hard tack. It's, you grow used to it. I remember yeah. once I was on a voyage and there was an old sailor. Been sailing for nice 70 years. The man couldn't stand any food other than hard tack. And he'd gnaw it all day long, and you could hear him crunching away at it. We'd be all trying to sleep, and there he'd be in his hammock, 
crunching away at some iron tack. <laughs> it got to be it got to be super annoying. And at one point in the voyage, the men tried to throw him overboard. Three big burly guys, and the man just rammed a thing of hard tack in each of their mouths. Well, the bosun found out, and those three men. They got a taste of the cat in the night on the yard arm. That straightened them right up. <laughs> oh, I love your characters so, so much. Good. I just uh, want to see Jontos yeah. <laughs> telling a story to Antonius and Antonius being very uncomfortable. <laughs> Wait, who's Antonius? Uh, Josh's other character. Josh's oh, character. Other character. Yep. Think, yeah. <laughs> Yes, this should happen. Because Antonius uh, ain't going to believe a word of it. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yes. That, uh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he just kind of nods. <laughs> yep. Now, what can uh, I do for you? It came down, so you must be looking for something. Oh. Uh... What time is it about? Is it still, um, like just after? Just before noon. Okay. Um, well, I wanted to double check your uh, your pantry supplies, if you don't mind. Oh, go That's right ahead. Thing. Just don't move anything and do not put the fish on top of the fruit. <laughs> You All wouldn't right. believe the incompetence of some of the cabin boys and the duck hands we had in here earlier. And there's actually one of those people who's helping you, like, prepare the meals. And he looks over and he's like, hey! <laughs> Present company excluded, of course. <laughs> All right, then. You're the one who put the onions next to the fruit. Hey, well, I don't know how to do this stuff. I just know how to chop things. <laughs> And he and he you he holds up his hand and he's missing like a couple fingers. <laughs> right. You do that. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Those potatoes won't cut themselves. Well, maybe they will if you stop jabbering. You Josh, your character kinda reminds me of the dad from How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh. I guess I can see that. When he's telling the story about his role about his on, wife. Uh, on John Toast here. Okay. See if what are you trying to find out? You're looking at me awful hard. What are you looking for? <laughs> I don't know. Just to, to gauge him and sure. his see. Just make it graduated, so I'll one. Tells a lot of stories. I don't know if they're all... Oh, only a one. No. Yeah, I mean, you don't know a whole lot about <laughs> Jantos. <laughs> kind of confused. If you're looking stories for... Stories are confusing me. <laughs> Better calculate to do that. Well, not really. Never mind just for fun than anything else. <laughs> All right, wait, flashback to before I came. Do I have any documents on him that I can go through? Uh, like, like what? Like the hiring, like just history of employment or something. Yeah, probably. Or just ask, uh, what's his face, Avion? Again. All their stuff. Yeah. Okay, I will search through my... Uh, documents and stuff to see if I can find anything. Would that be a read check? Sure. Yeah, make a read check. For accounting or you make, no, it a, make it make it a read check, yeah. Yeah, okay, got it. If you're looking to find out if I cheated on my books, that would be a that'd be a read test. So to be fair, I don't know if I'd be able to <laughs> You are a read. That would be an accountant test. Yeah. Yep. Thoroughly and completely illiterate. Can I fork observation because I'm trying to find out stuff yep, about yep. him? Cool. And accounting because I can look at his hiring yep, records. Yep. Gotcha. 
What up? Uh, make it graduated again, so one. Oh. What is with these rolls? <laughs> you, yeah. Okay, so, um... <clears throat> I got two. You... It's just basic stuff, right? Like, you find the, the, the sheet that you, like, had everybody's, like, uh... Maybe you had, like, one piece of paper on... Or, you know, one yeah, one piece of parchment on, like, every person you hired and it's just simple notes about like who the person was that you took and it's just like son of one of the mercenary or it's not son brother of one of the mercenaries gimpy leg you know like um mm -hmm. oh now that's not fair <laughs> um just it's just simple stuff like that you don't really know a lot how a lot about them so all right um well So flash forward back to the conversation. Yeah. This point, yeah, John oh, is just pantry look as far as a uh, possible spot for the princess. John Toast, how does the pantry look? Is there a lot of um, and stuff? Or... It's cluttered and fairly well traveled, at least by me. Um, is there a secret hiding spot that you could hide your your liquor that the princess might conveniently fit into? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Why wouldn't there be? Of course. Now, whether or not I'm going to tell anyone yeah, exactly, about it. Yeah. Do I see any? Can I make a? Uh, you make an observation. An observation yeah. or perception. Observation. Because you're trying to find something that's hidden rather than. If you're just trying to like scan something and just say, like, all right, what does it look like? That'd be perception, but. Well, I mean, I don't know that I'm looking for anything. Fair in enough. Yeah. Way, but... So yeah. So go make, just make a perception check then. <clears throat> Again, graduated. So one. i one. Three. Yeah. I mean, it, it, again, that's cluttered. Um, it's, I, I think a lot of it is like uh, there might be other things behind these boxes that like you can't see. Like there's a lot of boxes and stuff, a lot of crates, a lot of barrels, very cluttered. And so it's very possible that there might be other compartments that you're not seeing. <clears throat> okay. Well, I mean. At this point, John Toast just assumes he's doing numbers and whatever else is required by him being an accountant deep person. Uh -huh. So he's not real concerned other than that he not be no, moving well, stuff here. too much. I might as well do that. So accounting role. All right. <laughs> uh, make it. The, uh... What do you have in accounting? I have three. All right, just make it an odd one. Nice. Root. You nailed that. Yeah, so you count stuff real you take, well. You take very accurate <laughs> records. So accurate. Okay. Um, I don't know that I have much choice other than to really trust. John Toast at the moment, though, so. As far as if we need to move her now or soon. Mm -hmm. So. How do you approach the conversation? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So I was thinking. So, so Cadvale stands there for a little while. <laughs> and he probably is taking notes, but he's not really taking notes. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing numbers. I'm, I'm, I'm accounting. <laughs> That's yeah. certainly all that John Post can see is numbers and accounting and all that stuff that never needed. 
Never exactly. wanted. Exactly. But what I was implying is like he had finished those. And now he's like like deliberating how do I start this conversation? And he just keeps writing numbers even though <laughs> <laughs> he's done. But he just sort of he's not even looking at what he's trading. Yeah. But I, you can't tell. It's true. I don't know that John Toast would be able to tell one way or the other what he's you know, whether he's even doing work or not mm -hmm. being Ugh. thoroughly illiterate. As much as it doesn't make for good narrative motion at this point, I think there's nothing really John Toast can tell other than this man is in his pantry. I'm going to bustle past him a couple of times getting stuff ready for dinner. Right, right. Is anyone else around as far as... Yeah, there's one or two other, things? like, helpers that are, you know, helping cut up things and stuff like that. All right. Um, well, I wouldn't want to bring it up right now then in front of other people. So probably maybe invite him to... Probably invite him and then uh, when when I meet with, uh, with Jared's character... Mm -hmm. invite him to my cabin for that meeting there okay tonight kind of a thing and you, you maybe broach it as a, a sort of like hey this is an accounting meeting like i want to brief you about accounting yeah. things uh-huh sure awesome uh -oh. we're good but uh I'd, I'd, would you be willing to come to a, a meeting tonight to weigh in on uh on um the food supplies situation here as far as i can do the numbers but as far as uh actual portions for meals and stuff uh, you know i i don't really know well, about that. i suppose so long as it's after dinner and no one comes into the alley while i'm out yeah yeah it'll be it'll be tonight after dinner yeah all right got a see this kind of I'm a job description I guess I'll show up for it sweet thanks I, uh, I've got a, a good bottle of wine I've been saving we can maybe crack that open too a little incentive for you <laughs> <laughs> so so if we were playing if, if we're, uh, once we get to the trait vote I think I'm probably gonna have to nominate uh, drunk as a, <laughs> a trait for <laughs> Trevor's character <laughs> I have a feeling that's where all. this is going. But... Lover of wine. He spends a lot of time alone. I mean, <laughs> Fair doing enough. Doing numbers and stuff. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Um, yeah. So, Podino, what, what, uh, what, what trouble are you getting into while uh, this hot conversation is going on? He's standing right there, <laughs> in between us. <laughs> No. Inconspicuous role. Oh, yes. Or of in no, uh, <laughs> I'm just here, not doing anything. He's he's stabbing one of the helpers, and he just rolls so high that you just don't notice. Oh, I'm yes. just giving him a massage. <laughs> what? I didn't do anything with my knife. <laughs> I'm no, doing I acupuncture. Am. I am I am searching for the princess. It's an ancient uh, All right. Zay tradition. Yeah. Knife acupuncture. Knife acupuncture. The heart. <laughs> yeah, you, guys, you guys never heard about that? <laughs> ah, come on. You had to have heard about Zay acupuncture. It's like acupuncture, but instead of puncturing nerves, you puncture their arteries. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? It's a perfectly I mean. normal thing. Targeted bloodletting. It's, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so go ahead and roll an observation test, Connor. Uh, um, graduated, so we'll... And, and make sure you mark those tests, Trevor, that you just made. Uh, I th think I got them. Accounting. Okay. Um, observation. Well, my observation ones don't count because it's five, so I can't use routine. Right. Or wait, well, they were... They were graduated, so yeah, they always count as routine. So. Okay. Um. Yeah. So go ahead and look observation, Podina. Yeah. Uh, modifiers. That's the question. Um. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you're trying to find where someone would hide a princess. So. What do you think would help you do that? 
I would say you um, might be able to add in assassination wise. Princess wise. wise. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, assassination wise, it makes sense. Uh, we don't have a slave deck, do we? All right, base no. up. Oh yeah, that's actually a question I wanted to ask Trevor. I'm assuming you don't have slaves on this ship. Yeah, I probably would have. Yeah. Convinced him out of it. Like, yeah. yeah. And wasn't he wasn't a. I thought you said he he freed his wife from being a slave. Too. Yes, so he's I not he's not super. Very... Yeah, he's not super towards slavery either. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. But I just yeah, want to I just want to make person. sure. Yeah. All right. Hey. Oh man, you got two sixes there. I would re-roll those. Yeah. How many fate <laughs> points does Connor have? Oh Can right. A couple. Uh, of... no. Okay, yeah. He, everybody starts with three, so I think he's... I haven't, isn't it your last yeah. one that you're spending? Hey! What is that? No. I have three more after that. Oh, right, because you got fate from the last session. That makes sense. <clears throat> um, Wait, you rolled two threes? Yeah. That, both of those are not successes, though, so... Okay. What? Uh, neither of those are successes, so... Um... Yeah. I know. Yeah, so you got a three. Um, uh, let's see. Um, I mean, where would you where would you have been looking? I mean, that would be assassination wise is what I would add in there. That's right. That's what I'm doing with that. Where people would hide when yeah. they're being hunted. Yeah, stuff like that. Um, so where did you hide um, the princess, Trevor? Or Cadmail? I look there. <laughs> no, because I'm just wondering what hints I should give him. Uh, I, um... Yeah. That would be supplies <laughs> that wouldn't have been used yet. Uh, I mean, you could have just had, like, a, a closet or something in your cabin. True. That would have been awkward, though. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. It's up to you. What do you it's think only awkward if you make it awkward. Or, yeah. yeah, we'll see. Okay. There for now. Yeah, I mean, really so this is the again. thing, like... <laughs> Podino, so I think the obvious thing would be to to look in his cabin, right? Like, not not necessarily because you suspect him of harboring her per se. You just know that she might be on the ship. You don't know what, like how or why, like you know. Well, no, well. But that might be one place you would look. The thing is, though, because it's a high profile or whatever. Because um, if he does suspect you, that would be the place to look. But I don't know if he does. Um, um, it's up to you, Connor, but, uh, the thing with getting into his cabin would be to do it without being noticed, and that might be, uh, you know, that's a role in and of itself, so, where would you be looking? I mean, anywhere I would think a princess would be hiding. I mean, that could be anywhere on the ship, so you're just <laughs> scouring the ship? In the castle. The castle. I mean, obviously- No, in, in another castle, not this castle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Kale, I, I, like I don't know what the ship looks like, so I'm just looking for any place that I think I would find the princess. Okay, just go on my roll. Um, yeah, I mean, you don't find her, so. <laughs> okay. Um, you. Do you keep your cabin locked, Trevor? Or Cadmail? Yes, definitely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got all my books and stuff. Right, in there. yeah, definitely. All right, so yeah, I think that's the, like, that and the, you know, the the captain's quarters, the first mate's quarters, and, and, uh, Avion's, Avion and, uh, Talia's quarters. Those are the only rooms that are locked. You can pretty much go anywhere else. Um, but yeah, you don't find any clue of her being there. I think you do notice again, though. Um, you, I think you see Adam's character, um, and he's like, I think he's slinking around at one point, uh, ah. and you're not sure what he's up to. But he looks weird. Slinking. He looks out of place. Okay, so he's doing front flips down the stairs. 
<laughs> Fine. What were you doing? Sneaking. Sneaking? Why did you say sneaking, precious? Um. I mean, I don't confront him or anything. Okay, he's that's fine. Here, so. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just wondering. Yeah, so you're, so you're looking around. You don't find anything. Um. Let's go ahead and take our last break there, and then uh, I'll think of something else that can happen before we have to. Because it seems like everything's leading up to you. Jared and Adam need to be here. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, honestly, I should probably get going soon. So. Okay, so, so let's 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 go ahead and uh, a break for you know five minutes, and then we'll come back, do fate, and then just call it a night. Okay. Okay. Sounds All right. We'll be right back. Sounds good. Okay.